Obama has socialized every other industry. Why not take higher education on, too? The only way now to get financial aid for college soon, if Obama gets his way, is from the government. Why not? The president's proposal would make Pell Grants an entitlement. With me now, Harry uh, uh, Biswanger. He is uh, with the Ayn Rand Institute. Harry. Yes. <laughs> this is just yet another colossally bad idea. Can you explain why? Well, it's like a preemptive bailout for entering freshmen. And if we didn't learn the lesson from the TARP bailout that government loot is poison to take, these poor suckers who get these loans are going to find out when some years down the road, President Obama or his successor demands that they be accountable for the investment that society put into them, maybe do some national service, Maybe uh, vote so, for the Democratic Party. I, I'm going to play. I'm going to play devil's advocate here, because I got problems with national service. Though, and it's forced upon you. What's the problem with national service? The problem is that a it has to be voluntary. Thank you. You can't enslave people, let alone young people at the formative period of their life. And number two. That's the age at which a person has to pick his career and get started. Those are irreplaceable years Look, right I, after college. I, I have to tell you something. I think this, I think this whole college thing is a scam. I mean, I think a, a, an education is vitally important. Don't get me wrong. But the way we do education, where we just run everybody through, and now we're making it, uh, now we're making it so easy to get. Everybody can have a free education. It's meaningless to a lot of people. Uh, well, I think it's worse than that, Glenn. I think the colleges and universities, being largely leftist, multiculturalist, environmentalists, are churning out Barney Franks, Michael Moores, and Al Gore's. So this is a way, this proposal is a way for the government to pour loot into the colleges but to how, create more of their own supporters. They're already doing it. You yes. already get tax benefits. They're tax free, so they're not paying any taxes. Then the students already get grants. The schools get grants. There's two sources of income coming from the taxpayer. Plus, they're not paying anything. Now they're going to take over all financing for the schools. What are you? You got to be kidding me! How much more and, money could we shovel into these places? And Americans have to decide: Do they believe in self-responsibility or parasitism? You know, Ayn Rand's message was that need is not a claim. Maybe these people need to go to college and be indoctrinated with the reigning orthodoxy. I don't happen to think so, but maybe they need it. But that's not a claim on anyone else to be forced to pay for that. How do we stop this? You need a philosophical revolution, unfortunately. That's why I'm in philosophy. I want to teach the principle of individual rights but you can't, and egoism. You know, I was just talking about this on the, on the radio today. There is neither party standing up for the individual and individual rights. Neither You're side. You're absolutely right. Nobody's absolutely teaching right. this. That's the biggest problem we have. That is. Yeah, Ayn Rand was a big the biggest advocate of individualism. That's what made this country great. All the other countries are collectivists. The group, the, the royal court, the tribe, those are the people to whom you owe your life and you're just a serf. But in America, you're born free. Yeah, no, not, in, not anymore. Well, not that anymore. was the idea. That was the idea. All right, Harry, thank you very thank much. You. I appreciate it. Now, you want to know how to...